I know these two are together. I can tell. Sleepyhead, good morning. You know my mom hated this bike, man. Said I had a better chance living if I joined the Mafia. Of course she would think so. And I thank you for that Leonardo contact, but you're right. It's not for me. I'd be just like my mom if I took it. But anyways, I've been trying to get this shit to start all morning. I checked the fuel lines, changed the spark plug, cleaned the carburetor, swapped out the battery. Sally, Sally, what is going on in your mind, you nasty thing? You ready for school today? You know you're walking into the hell the devil built, right? The fire has never been this high before, and I know the Connors are going to be scorching our asses the moment they get the chance to. Luckily for me, I work today, so I don't have to deal with that shit just yet. <laughs> that tickles. I would ink my whole body with colors of you if I could. All right, Sally, last chance. The moment of truth. Ah. <laughs> hey, you want to ride, girl? Creation is coming alive. When I'm on vacation, I'll be wondering every night to keep my mind from work. You by fire, drink some martini and talk about life. Ooh, doing my best to survive. Uh, but I need more. Mommy, I wish I could fly. Back in beg and go. I really, really don't mind. Living right now, so hard to get on that plane soon. Don't care if it's to Mumbai or Cancun. Mm, as long as I'm high as a guy. Hey, yeah, I'll be good. Love you. And if shit don't feel right, seem a little weird, call me and I'll come get you. Hey, you know that thing fat? Feeling the sun on my face. That's the way to go. I like this woman brain. Do you mind telling me what happened last night? What are you talking about, Ma? At that party. With Travis? Man, I ain't never seen that boy like that. He stormed that stage like Will Smith, told everybody to keep his wife's name out they fucking mouth. And then he bounced. Like a damn G. 
You should have seen him, Ma. That old man was pissed. Well, did you know that old man went home and killed his wife and that little boy? Damn. <laughs> oh, shit. That's crazy. Yes. Fucking Travis. Hey, Sweeney. Sorry about leaving you hanging. But you know how it is, girl. What the fuck? Are you serious? I'm not fighting you. What is wrong with you, crazy... Students and staff alike. Due to an unfortunate incident, I am deeply saddened today to announce Mr. Eric Connor's resignation. Mr. Connor has done outstanding work for this school and its students. And I will continue to carry the torch of his hard work and his legacy. While he looks to clear his name and announce his innocence in this horrific crime, the governing boards, trustees, and overseers have chosen me to carry out the rest of the year. The same no-tolerance rule before me will be upheld. I will be cracking down on campus protesting, dorm room parties, and activities that diminish the value and quality of this beautiful school. We also offer a college therapist for anyone in need. And if you have any questions for me, my door is always open. Thank you. Sincerely, your new president, Mr. Billy H. Connor. Look at the steel balls on this kid. You did good work. I didn't think you had it in you. Didn't think I had what in me? Look who's trying to play coy. You're just as crazy as your fucking mother. You know that, right? Sonny, what the hell are you talking about? That college, uh, uh, president or whatever. Mr. Connor? Yeah, you know him. What about him? You really don't know. After you took the center stage last night and told the whole city that some boy was plugging into his wife's socket, the moron went home and found the two in bed and blew their brains out all over the wall. I got a guy on the inside. Said it was nasty work. They're dead? You really didn't know, huh? No. No, Sonny, I did not. I didn't wish for any of this shit to happen, man. It's not about what your intentions were, Ted. What's done is done, and you have to live with that. You got two bodies on your name now. What? I didn't fucking kill them. Yes, you did. You may not have pulled the trigger, but the decision you made shaped the decision for the one who did. And to that family, the fags, the streets, you devised the plan to have them killed and get away with it. And get away with it, you will. Hit you smart little motherfucker. Look at you growing up. Uh, I believe that's for you. Travis, can we speak? In private? I take it you heard the news. I didn't mean for that shit to happen. I never meant for anybody to get hurt. I just wanted people to, you know, know the truth and, and stop messing with Sully. That's, that's all I wanted. I know. I know, Travis. I know. I know your heart and your intentions. I just am afraid many people will not see it like that. You're, 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 talking, to, you're talking about the police? Yeah, though, asked questions, but there's nothing they can really do. They would have to prove you knowingly aided Mr. Powder to do that. Without evidence of you demonstrating any behavior of intentions to kill, there's nothing they can do to you. Are you okay? No. No, I'm fucking not. Hey, you want to come with me? Get something to eat? Relax a little bit? Ease your mind? I'm sure you could use a friend right now, and that's what I want to be for you right now, Travis. A friend. There's a hearty taco right up the street. I used to love that place, but I'm, I'm, I'm good. Thanks. Are you sure, Travis? I'll get you some soft tacos. A strawberry milkshake if you like those. Who cares if they go together, right? I haven't ate there since my mother died. To be honest, she... Travis? Oh. 
What's wrong with you? Travis. Fucking therapist. 